brilliant fun. Me and Rich are going to go through <laughs> our bikes in our career and rate them from super nice to... <laughs> we won't say that word, but we will in a minute. Yeah. Uh, this is a great idea. Um, Blake and Neil have been doing this, mm, and I did. really like the look of it. We should get into it. Well, should um, I kick things off? Yeah, go on. Let's start rating our bikes oh, from our God. riding careers. Go on. All right, go well, on, I'm going to go early days. So to begin with my first proper downhill bike was a, a Kona look. Stab. Check this out. Oh. And that was off of, that's a GF and second hand bike when we were about well, 14, 15. Well, that's not a good sign of straight away. <laughs> and can I just say, right, I really didn't like the Kona Stab. No, oh, come on. What did you, it's your bike. Well, do you know what, this one had actually, then I snapped it twice and had to be re-welded twice. Man, talk about, so, one bike had a tough life. It was not fun. So that's gonna go in the Pile. Right at the bottom, yeah, right at the start. It, was, it wasn't good, but it was a great first step. I then moved on to a Coyote DHX, which I think Blake had as well. And not the same one. Not the same one, luckily. Right. Neil had the Azonic version. They were all made in the same yeah. factory. Yeah. Couldn't afford the Muddy Fox. I know, tough times, right? Mate, if you can't afford a Muddy Fox, what are you hey, even doing in mountain biking? You gotta start somewhere. Yeah. But we just re-sprayed it to look like one with the stickers. Oh my god. Well, yeah. you made a bike, a coyote, look like a Muddy Fox. <laughs> yeah, dark times. Dark, dark times. Actually, Muddy Fox at that point were kind of like, that's They the, were big. That was kind of, they were half cool because of the effort. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah. I put a fifth element rear shock on it. Yeah. All right. So actually, that made it pretty cool. So I'm going to put that in the nice because I'm a bit nostalgic on that well, one. Well, all right. Can I go with one now? My, yeah, go my, on. my first one is, is this. It's oh. the, like, this was my first real pro ride. It's the Cannondale Beast of the East. It's fun. Oh. Oh, oh, it's man. such a good bike. I mean, it wasn't necessarily a very good trials bike, but at the time it kind of was because a mountain bike trials bike didn't really exist. Yeah, so you just rode a rigid mountain bike. But look bike. at it, that's that's iconic. And it's got the fluoro, you know, oh, Maguros on there. What, what are you saying? Oh, it's a super nice. It's a super, it's a super, super nice. Yeah. I, I can't really do much else with that one. No, um, it'd be it's, criminal. It's beautiful. I love it. It defines me a little bit. Yeah. And uh, that's that's yeah. a bike of an era. That it's a love I never got over. <laughs> so it's a super nice, super nice for me on the old Cannondale Beast East. Okay, moving on. Uh, this is my first proper ride. It was for a Bulgarian company called Ram Bikes. Ram Have a look at this. Bikes. Yeah. So Ram Bikes, catalog company. Very similar to, well, the, those I started doing Whoa. World Cup four crosses and things, big yeah. box section down tube. We had like the reverse Manitou's on there. I could throw some shapes and stuff, look. You could. Yeah, well, you, you know, still like, can. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. true. Well, look at that big tux. Like Do you know what? This, one of my favorites, the Enduro bike, was yeah. this beauty, and it was custom sprayed for me. Green and yellow, because I was well into John Deere back then, because, you know, John Somerset. Deere. Yeah, <laughs> the tractor version. <laughs> exactly. Did you tractor it down the top? I like to that. Think Look so, at that yeah. shot, amazing. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So, what you are you going to give it? What are you going to give it? Where are you going to go for? They were, they were meh. Meh? They were meh, because although the colour schemes were cool and the parts were pretty good, I mean, they didn't ride great. No, but that worked custom one. Yeah, they did. They didn't ride great. Surely Look that at it. can go. Yeah, oh, I mean, there's a pretty good position for it. Yeah, meh. yeah. What meh. about what's what's next on your list? On my list. Um, so at the moment you've got a meh and a. Oh, and a <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's not good stuff. Are we saying shit? Beep it up. Yeah. Oh, but you would like us to say shit less. So what you saying? You got a, you got a. And a meh at the moment. Yeah, right? it's I not a good super, start. I started a super. Yeah, you, you started high. Next one, right? It's sort of two bikes combined. Adam built at the same time. I used these on the Animal Bike Tour in 2013. They were Hope Factory builds, right? Oh, come on. Oh, so nice. I had an inspired mm. hex and an orange 5 Diva made into like a full sus trials bike and a rigid trials bike. They're kind of the same idea in one. They were beautiful. I unfortunately didn't get to ride the full sus bike. Gutted. It was at a particular time in my life where I snapped my back in half. <laughs> and that didn't help. So I never got to do what I had planned with it, but it was a beautiful bike. Have you bike. still got them? No, I don't. Oh. I don't know where they are, but it's a fantastic bike. Um, what are we giving them? I mean, I know what I'd give them. What would, I mean, I feel this is super nice. <laughs> this is... I can't put it anywhere else. Go on, what, what are you giving it? Super nice. Super nice. I've Even though you didn't ride one? Well, one of them I didn't ride. The other one I rode and I feel like it was just, well, it was the last bike I actually rode. <laughs> Can I really give it less than a, oh, it's a super nice, man. It's a super nice. Mate, well, let's go with what you, you come out next. swinging. Okay, so after Ram, I then, uh, time in life, I moved to Jersey, so I yeah. raced and died down a little bit, so I was on a few shop deals, but I actually had some sick bikes. Check out this, Yeti 303 Ooh, DH with a slider that. rail. Ooh. 
Yeah. Yes, yeah. check out that. Yeah. I Into was also it. on the same shop deal on a Yeti dirt jump. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're, that, I mean, we're... That is super nice. That, yeah, that but really I think is. both of them are. Yeah. And on the same shop deal, because I was on it for a few years, we then jumped up to some Santa Cruises, had a V10, much like Neil. Oh, yeah. Because that with a box of World Cups. Right, moving on, Mark. Yeah. I had this Yeti SB160. Come on. Look at that. It was in the Fleur Yellow. I didn't mm. go for like the classic turquoise, but it's a cool build. Yeah, I like all you the know. white parts as well. Yeah, I had so loads of white parts of that. Questionable time, yeah. style, though. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, it's the look of the time. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was. But to rank yeah. them, the V10 was. I'm gonna go for a nice. Yeah. The 303 and the Yeti Dirt Jump, I think, are, yeah, they're yeah, super nice. Super like, they're so they're cool. Nice, yeah. And the 160, I actually cracked the back end on that. So I'm gonna go, that was a bit meh, because yeah. it felt a bit steep and it didn't, I didn't gel with it. So yeah. yeah you're, you're harder on your bikes than I am, I think. What, in yeah. terms of breaking them or ranking them? Well, just ranking them, yeah, but definitely breaking them. <laughs> Dude, no. you break everything. <laughs> yeah. Go on. My next one, right, this is also gonna be very hard to not give a super nice <laughs> to, right? This is the back on track Nikolai. I mean, it's the first bike I rode after my accident and it was essentially the first bucket bike ever. And it was built by Nikolai. Um, Chris Porter at Mojo did all the work around it to make it a reality. Danny, Matt, Chris Atkrig and Blake Sampson pushing me off the top. Yeah, wall. I remember. Dude, this bike was so cool. It basically had a, a Tessier six ski seat put on top and that basically held oh, me course. on the bike. Um, it had Hope build on it, it had Fox shocks on it. So we're giving it a mer, right? It's a super it's a nice, super... man. I'm sorry. My ranking's not that interesting. It really, because you've had such sick bikes. Well, look, that one's a good one. Worry. That I, one's a really good one. I mean, I remember it well and mm. the, with the Foxes and... Oh, it's... Let's go on to what you've got next. Yeah, because I've got Your another... list is more interesting. Yeah, so then after that, we mm. then had some more proper deals gone. So I was on KTM. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we had... Yeah. It was at KTM were trying to make enduro bikes. I had a KTM Lycan, it was called. Mm -hmm. And it was this little beauty. Oh, yeah. Now, the problem with this was that piddly little Fox Airshock on the back. Uh, and this is when I'd started racing EWS as well, 20, uh, uh, needed, 2014. Needed a bit more on it. Oh, my days. It just yeah. exploded. So you can see there we got one with a little, you know, uh, finale. Well, that was my first ever, oh, I think. A uh, pro setup. Yeah. Hey, man, I didn't it's know you were a pro KTM rider. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's all right, but I mean, yeah. that bike Just was don't a, mention mountain bikes <laughs> yeah, at the end of that sentence. Back in 2013 and 14, <laughs> but that was a, that was a meh again. Um, oh, really? Yeah, I, I'm harsh on them. Um, I, I've got a really good one. Go on. <laughs> it's, it's my uh, Canyon Sender from what? Fort William down my out video. This bike was amazing. Amazing. So good, it had an electric motor on it. So it was essentially a Canyon with a throttle. It That's, was unreal. That is amazing. And technically, I won uh. Fort William World Cup on it. <laughs> kind of. Are you the only person here in the team to have won a World Cup downhill? Well, kind of, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess. I mean, this bike was really special. And the, and the actual video shoot itself is one of the greatest experiences I've ever had on a bike with a team oh, and, and, and seeing something through to fruition. It's a super nice You keep dude. raising the bar. This, is, this bike's so, so good. It had just like our Works Fox kit on it. Oh, it was amazing. Sorry, it's another super nice. <laughs> I, mean, I give it a super nice. If you nice. feel like you'd like to downgrade it, I'll take your I know, vote. because I can't, because they That's are. That's a hard one. Look, let's let's All get right, back, back to your over list. to back me. To so, I started racing EWS a bit proper now. So, we yeah. moved on to a, a UK brand called Chemical Bikes. Right. And I'd also started a clothing company called Remap Clothing, and we had like this collab on the go, which was pretty cool. And these were the bikes. So this was the first version. Looks good. It looks all right, doesn't it? It's, it's a catalogue nice. bike, though. It's literally straight from China. It's you, a catalogue. That's a catalogue bike, Whoa. which I didn't realise at the time. Wow. And then I found out it was. And this is like the team version here. You can see we oh, had like black and nice. yellow, because some nice. DVOs on there, XTR. Yeah. I was running for American Classics. We had American Classic wheels mm, on them and stuff. That's a really lovely build. Yeah, and do you know what? People even like Dirt Mag and Enduro Mag were like, this bike's a game changer. This is amazing. And it's literally from a catalogue for like 300 quid. 300 pounds? Uh, yeah, but, well, they were, they were charging oh more, but it was God. like 300 quid. And you but, built it up, lovely. Yeah, oh, thanks, man. Look, yeah. you, know, you know, we were looking legit by that point. Things had developed. This we were looking. Good. This looks good. So I'm, the bike itself, I was going to give it, because it actually wasn't too bad. We put angle sets in it mm. to make it a bit better. So it's going to be a nice. 
a nice. It's a nice. So angle sets and you off you like. So angle set slack angle. and the head angle, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. we tried some offset bushings and we did some. So pushings. it's a nice even with the geo, geo changes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not well, no, bad. it's a nice because of the geo changes. Right. If it didn't, it's a. <laughs> oh, that's a bit mad. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, that so, was... so you've only got the one super nice at the moment. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. I mean, they, they deserve they it. it. What have you got next? Um, next up, this is probably the one that maybe I'd I'd give this a super nice, right? This is <laughs> of course the you would. This is the random tandem. Right? Yeah. Um, and it is an incredible bike. I'm going to be riding it again soon. I love it. It's taken me some wild places, and obviously I've ridden it with some incredible people. Rob Warner, Blake Sampson, Danny McCaskill, Brett it's a big Tiffy. List. Just so much fun. Um, the build itself is incredible. It's got a double battery Bosch motor on it. It's got Fox shocks on it. It's got uh, an amazing seat system built by Fabric oh, for it's me. It's a bit of kit, isn't it? It's incredible. It's an incredible bike, right? So it kind of is a super nice, but I feel like to dent my list. <laughs> Maybe we should go with the vote of what people on well, the back would say. That's what I was going to say. And I'm 100% sure everyone on the back would say, that is, if but, not meh. Uh, yeah, keep going. Yeah, down the bottom. Yeah, that's, that's nothing but a terrifying experience yeah, so, for the other person. So should we go with their vote? Yeah, go on, okay. just about, in the just, interest of balancing. Shove it down the bottom. Yeah. That one is bleh, but the random town of, you know, it's got a piece of my heart, but oh, yeah. Nice. I don't think anyone else liked it. Okay, well, I'm going to move through the years. We're going to fire on through. So I moved on to Trek bikes then in 2017 or whenever it was, yeah. 2017, I think. Yeah. I had a Trek Slash and a Pro Caliber. Oh. Flipping it, they were nice. We had yeah. custom decals made up. We were on... Uh, American Classic wheels again. I mean, have a look at this one. Where is it? This is in Ooh, Chile. Yeah. That's not bad, is it? It's a nice build. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So that's actually a super nice. And I'm going to keep going because from there, that was only for the year. I moved on to Merida. Ooh. I know, the yeah. Merida 160, um, which was, again, actually a very good bike. I'm going to give that bike because it was one of my yeah. favorite yeah. an actual super nice. Really? Yeah, I really liked how that bike rode. It just seemed like the dimensions of it and the angles seemed to really gel with how I rode. Right, next up on my list, I've got the Bowhead RX. Right, this oh, is, it's a this monster. Is, oh, this is the hand bike version of the Bowhead RX, right? There's absolutely no way it's anything other than a super. No, I, I'd give that a super. These I'd... bikes are transformational, but I've ridden it in some amazing places. I've ridden it on like double black diamonds at Whistler. Yeah, I remember that was I terrifying. I rode Squamish. Um, I've ridden some amazing places on it. Rode Sea Otter and did a funny race on it. <laughs> it's an incredible bike. Um, it, it's got everything. The riding, the actuation, and it's also got, you know, just the amazing physical capability yeah. of you actually getting tired. I love it. It's definitely a super nice. Yeah. It's gorgeous. And um, yeah, my favorite thing I own, I love it. Oh, yeah. It's a cool it's bike. Great. It's a cool yeah. bike. Right. I've got next, this is my last sort of pro race bike. I was for a British company called Deviate. Yes. And it was the Deviate Guide and it was a gearbox driven bike. Ooh, that is Check that really out. Cool. Now it's pretty wild. It was full carbon. We had some uh, Cane Creek Helms on there. I was some other cool components and stuff. This was the first iteration, and they did this one. Look at this custom sprayed one. Ooh, Boom. Yeah. You know, I I think that's a super nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's really. That cool. is a super nice. The yeah. problem there. Oh, maybe I'm too harsh because the oh, no, it is. I'm gonna go super nice. Ding ding ding. But the problem was, flat out going down. But the gearbox, obviously the pinions at the time were mm. grip shift, and yeah. they were quite hard to change gear under load. Yeah. So as a general trail type bike, it wasn't quite as good, but. That looks sick, doesn't it, right? It does look good. It yeah, does. What, does, what does that mean? I mean, you, a super nice can't really have any dents in it, so... Well, they didn't, it was carbon. Saying, no, you know what I mean. And it's uh, it, 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 how it it's works. It's a super nice. It's still a super, because it was nice. like maintenance-free, it was silent, it never went wrong. That mm. bike, do you know what? That bike sadly got stolen. Oh, no. Rinsed of parts, chopped in half, and was found in a ditch, spray-painted in Bristol. Sad oh, times. they sprayed over the... Yeah. Oh, man. But... That sucks. The guys from Deviate took the pinion off, it worked fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what about you? Um, well, this is the last one on my list, really. This, okay. is, uh, this is the Bowhead Reach right now. I've had this is the a front couple, one, right? Yeah, I've had a couple of iterations of this bike. Um, to say it's fun and lunacy is an understatement. <laughs> um, but I think when I first got my first one and it arrived, I had it in my bedroom and I would sit on it in the house and pretend really? to ride it. Yeah, like, here's an image of me doing that. That's a lot it's, of love. Like, I love that 
bike. Um, but the one I'm going to say is a super nice, is the one that I just rode at Sea Otter this year. It was a new build, it had a few prototype bits about it, had a full throttle grip, it had spare batteries under the seat as well as on the back wheel. Is that a roll cage? Uh, yeah, it had a little roll cage thing there That's we were gnarly. testing out. Don't know what I thought about that, but uh, 24 inch front wheels. Oh, amazing. It's a bike. weapon. Amazing bike. I've had actually had a go, not in that one, I had a go in the previous yeah. one. I was like, uh, uh, this I has mean, got power. Yeah, I mean, can we really give that anything less? It's, uh, it's nice to end on two super nices. It's super nice. It's a super yeah. nice. I, lo I love that bike and, um, yeah, I love seeing people on them. So well, that's great. Least favourite. Can't you pick one? I guess I gotta say the random tandem because I, 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 <laughs> yeah. I but that's from other people's opinion. I'd say yeah. that's the least favourite because that's the only thing where some of the love would have been lower on it because there was the terror. There's two people on the bike. Yeah. So that one, yeah. Um, mm. What about you? Like, least favourite? I think looking at that list, it's gonna have to be the KTM like, and it just wasn't that good. The KTM. Yeah, mm, yeah, okay. it wasn't that good. Okay. What about your best? What's Most all-time favourite, the Merida 160. Yeah because I really enjoyed that bike. Top of my list, I'm going to say, I'm rolling right back to the start. It's the, the Cannondale. The Cannondale, yes! Yeah. Great shouts. Ooh, I love it, yeah. I love it. And people still build them up because they're so cool and sick. Yeah, they're still they making are. them. So, oh, uh, yeah, Cannondale nice. BCs. Very well, cool. let us know what you think. Maybe your favourite or worst bikes of our lists were. Let us know in the comments down below. But from us for now, we're out of here. See you later. See you later.